Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Patera here. I have just come out. And I wanted to show you Belle. She's been down behind the pig pen down there where we have a huge mulberry tree. We're going to get a big blessing of mulberries from what my uh, husband investigated yesterday. But anyway, I like to come out once a day. Now look there. Get away. This video might be a little bit wobbly. Um... And I apologize for that. And plus, it's very bright. But what I'm doing is brushing her. This is our milk cow. If you've watched our videos before, then you've certainly seen. She is bred. And um, you can see that baby is just whomped right down here. So what I'm doing is I'm simply brushing her. I have sprayed her with my freshener spray. I do it at least once a day. And she loves it. She runs up to me, so I will spray her and brush her. Basically, what I'm trying to show you here, and I'm just trying to relax her because I'm filming. When you're next to livestock people, you're at their mercy, okay? This is not about what I film. This is about my safety, and of course, she's knocking over her freshener spray. So anyway, she was bred last year. I have a video on the channel, which you can clearly watch. It's from last July. And if you do the timeline from the last date possible, she should calve by May 7th. Okay, I'm coming back here towards the back side. You can clearly see we have the loosening of some ligaments. We may still have some way to go with that. And she is swollen. You can even see as she walks, it is jiggling. Hope you can hear me. It is jiggling. <laughs> And it's opening right through there. Guys, that's pretty serious. Not only that, I'm coming back around nice and easy, girl. But not only that, her tummy is way down and distended. And right under here, which you cannot see as well, I can feel it all underneath there. See, she still has a lot of her um, winter coat coming off. So it's hard for you to see. She has milk veining all through here. I mean, I'm talking like it's really sticking out, okay? So, that is some of the telltale signs that we are with in probably two weeks or less. A week, maybe, um, in terms of her having her calf. She got into some bedding yesterday and got a little dirty. So, I'm trying to clean her up, just baby her pamper her, love on her. I'm trying to get this winter coat to come out just a little bit better for her because she gets hot. Um, but what we're going to be doing is watching her behavior. She has not had a whole lot of swelling back here uh, in the vulva area this pregnancy, okay? Which kind of has thrown me off. It's okay, baby. She loves being brushed right here. It's like getting her hips rubbed, you know. If you've ever had a baby, you know how much your hips hurt. So, long story short, um, you can see she has definitely put on weight. In fact, she has put on so much weight this time. She um, actually swelled a lot up in her face as well. So, I had to remove her halter for now. We're getting a new setup for her. So, but she's very calm as you can see. And, you know, I'm just really easy with the cows. I just, you know, I talk easy, but I hold my firmness. You know, I really walk with, I walk with a stick. I utilize the word no. I let her know that while she is babied and she is loved, she is not the boss. But then again, you have to be smart. You're not going to win with such a beast if they choose to take the role. So anyway... She's come up to be brushed and get into some messes, of course. She's trying to cool down. So I come out every day with my freshener spray. That's another video. Um, and I spray her. Let me go over here and I'll get it. She's munching a little bit. I'm trying to not overfeed her. Uh, you obviously don't want to overfeed a cow like this. She is not a big cow, okay? She is a Holstein Jersey Cross. And I'm trying to give her, maintain her with some nice um, feed every day because that's when I give her her minerals and her herbs and her DE. 
and whatnot. I have been giving her some treats to love on her. Every pregnant girl deserves a treat, or 10. But, nonetheless, I'm trying to force her to have less hay um, than what I just am prone to throwing out to her because we do not want her this calf to be ginormous because she's not a big cow. Do you remember that she is bred with an Angus? That's how we created this monster. <laughs> um, so, anyway, Maybelle over here with Mama, they're munching on some hay. She is not nursing, but we will have to separate them um, definite when we have a new calf. So that's the main thing that we're watching for just to make sure. So, just she just loves this. She loves being brushed every day. Um, and when it's really hot and when she's really producing the milk, I tend to brush her twice a day. You know, babier, lover. Makes her coat look really nice. Now, let me tell you, when she has this calf, like many of you already know, she's gonna drop weight like a freight train. I had some folks not understanding what a dairy cow is supposed to look like. That's another whole topic within itself. Guys, this isn't a meat cow, okay? This is not your uh, cow that you're gonna wanna, you know, this is not your filet mignon, okay? Granted, you can get, obviously they do have meat, but when she drops this baby and she freshens and she starts producing milk, they really do start to thin out. The average cow, a lot of times, when they produce milk, like this cow does, they can lose 200 pounds, okay? So you just wanna make sure that they're maintaining a certain level in terms of, uh, there's levels that you can check with what they're supposed to look like. Um, you know, and you're gonna have to up their feed and their protein and do all of these things for sure. Okay, this, this video is not about that. But I just wanna let you know, once she has this baby and she's producing gallons and gallons of milk a day, that's what her body focuses on, okay? Not focusing on beef ribs, they're focusing on milk production. So do understand that when you see a lot of these dairy cows out there, which you don't see anymore. I mean, you don't see just random dairy cows on farms like you used to. But they're not going to look like the Angus and the Herefords and the Charlet. Major difference. All right, I'm just kind of talking. All right. Walking around. What are you investigating, Maybelle? So I thought I would show you very calmly. I don't... I don't dork around a lot when I'm filming the cow, okay? You can see where her halter was getting a little bit too tight right there. See how that was wearing right there? She was gaining weight. So we've we got her a collar. Yes, because I do believe in maintaining something on the cattle, as you know, if you're going to be majorly handling them. Right now, I'm not majorly handling her except for brushing it every day or two. And when I give her her treats. I hope this helps you out. I know I'm just showing you. I know a lot of you have asked about her and where she's at. We could have a calf tonight. But I will tell you, last year, when she went into labor, aren't you a good girl, sweetie? Yes. Last year when she went into labor, her behavior in the 24-hour period prior to having the calf was literally different. She was restless and she walked. Like, have you ever been to the hospital when the woman's in labor and all she's doing is pacing the hallway till the final moment? That's what this cow did, okay? She was not down. This cow was not down. Even Fred came up from the back property and said that cow has been walking in just all day. So, long story short, she didn't really look anything different than what you're seeing right now, except back here, an enormous amount of mucus came out and it was like this clear membrane and she walked as she walked she strung it across the pasture you knew that happened about eight o'clock and we had a calf by 2 a.m eight o'clock in the evening we had the calf overnight of course i missed it but that's another video another time so anyway 
For those of you that have been through this, you know it's an exciting time. It changes and transforms the entire shape, scape, schedule, process, everything you do on your homestead. Having the calf, caring for her, making sure that the calf has really good progress in terms of taking the colostrum when it comes out and does really well the first three to five days. And of course, then you get onto your milking schedule. So it is an entire deal, isn't it, baby? She's so good. Alrighty, guys, if you like what you see here, be sure to like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Let's see if you can see some more milk banning over here. Like I said, I just sort of ease with her. Just ease. Oh yeah, you see this bulge right down here? But that's not just, do you see this right here? That is the vein, like I'm following it with my finger. Yes, baby, I know, you're hot. So, we're in the time, folks. We are in the time. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Y'all take care out there. Look how swollen that is, y'all. <laughs> Swollen, swollen.